Travel through Jamaica with me, Kareem Latouche, as I explore our rich landscape and creative personalities. Get to see some parts of Jamaica that you may not know or may have overlooked. Nowhere is too far, too muddy or too high. I'll be driving through the 14 parishes and talking to vendors and community members to get the true stories of the various places. This is Kareem's Quest. Today I'm doing a very special Kareem's Quest where I'm taking a Mitsubishi L200 2020 from Norbrook up to Hollywell. So I'm testing out the four-wheel drive features of the vehicle. This vehicle is a 2.5 litre turbocharged engine um, matted to a five-speed transmission. It feels very good, it feels very sturdy. Clearly it competes with the Toyota Hilux but I always feel very good with the Mitsubishi L200 and the BT50, I feel like they give you a lot of bang for the money. Also has a very, I would call it robust um, four wheel drive option. So it is activated by a dial which is in the center console and you can get access to four wheel drive high and four wheel drive low as well as two wheel drive high. Now, to shift from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive high, you can be going at speeds upward of 60 km per hour. And to shift to four-wheel drive low, the vehicle has to come to a stop. In the front, we have our regular wishbone suspension and in the back we have leaf suspension and that's ideally for carrying excessive weight. From a handling perspective, it feels very nimble. You know, it's a pickup, so it's not going to give you that big force that a sports car is going to give you, but it does get the job done. And in pickups, what is most important is torque. You want to be able to carry a full load of persons in the front and in the back, as well as the bed being loaded with things like bricks or cement or sand, and it going up uphill and having enough force to carry everybody uphill. So, from that regard, it's a lovely vehicle. L200, it's a very nice vehicle, it comes with the, an interior of fabric seats and manual seats too. And I'm one of those persons who I actually prefer manual seats in a pickup as opposed to automatic seats. I just feel like you're going to be working and you're going to be on a site a lot and your hands are going to be dirty and you're going to be applying a lot of excessive force to something and you don't want something that's very sensitive and that's very electronic based. And so I always feel like vehicles that have too much electronics in it are going to be prone to have problems. I mean, these vehicles are bought to work. You want to get it from point A to B, you're going to be getting your hands dirty and then moving into the vehicle and so you don't need to be worried about things always malfunctioning. So I like it when it's that way. The one thing that I'd add to this model is that it doesn't have a reverse camera and with a vehicle this long, always want to have a reverse camera, especially when you're driving in a city and in Kingston for example, and you have to be going into small parking slots. You want a vehicle that you can see around. So that would be the only thing that I would add to it. As the journey continued, we stopped at different spots to take pictures and bask in the mountainous atmosphere. And after about two hours of driving, we reached our destination, Hollywell National Park. It's 3,000 feet above sea level and is a nature lover's dream. From the serenity of its grounds, one can easily view the coast of Kingston, Port Royal, and even Portmore. As we arrived on property, the ranger Gary Campbell was available to share some information about the park. Hi, uh, my name is Gary Campbell and I'm a ranger at Halliwell. Okay, so Halliwell, we have four um, main trails that you can hike on. We have the Waterfalls Trail, the Wogwater Trail, um, the Shelter Trail, and we also have uh, the Oatley Mountain Loop Trail. You can find a, a, a variety of um, um, flora and fauna here. So the park was gathered in 1993 um, and it becomes a protected area. Uh, we have activities like um, camping, you can come and you can hike, you can come and you can um, 
book a cabin. Um, you can even come for chill, to chill out. Most persons come up here for the fresh air, for some quietness. Especially like now, Kingston is pretty warm, so you have more persons come up for the fresh air. It's pretty cool here. Um, Ode Park was um, gazetted because of the, uh, with, um, with the trees, the pro um, protected because of the trees, and of course the watersheds. So we have, it's mainly because of the trees, the birds, and the watersheds. So we have 20 watersheds in Jamaica and 10 can be found in the Blue and Drunk. Um, we have 29 endemic birds, which all can be found in the Blue and Drunk Mountains National Park. Some of the trees up here, some of them are only found in the area. Like for example in the Mount and Yaka, it can only be found up here at Halliwell. You won't find anywhere else. So it's endemic. Right? And it's also endemic to the area. After talking with the ranger, we met up with the rest of the team who were playing games and relaxing. All this was taking place while our friends at Reggae Jamming and Cranwater were setting up their area with their various products. For Cranwater, they seized the opportunity to do a special cocktail mix using their new sparkling cranberry water. And Reggae Jamming prepared a special burger that was packed with pak choy, mushrooms and plantains. All things like these capture the essence of what Jamaica is about. Good company, good food and nature at its best.